I am so tired and so irritated. That's the train. I don't know if you can hear it, but that's the train. So, <clears throat> this load has been like a load from hell. Like, I'm just so irritated right now. Um, I went to pick up this show yesterday afternoon. When I went to go pick up this load, there was usually two lines to get in to pick up this load. Um, a driver had broke down in one of the lanes. So that left us all in just one lane to get in there. And these other drivers, they were just being stupid, you know, sliding their tandems when they get to the gate, you know, just not having their numbers. It was a delay. It was already a line out the gate to get the load. So I stayed there about an hour and a half. And then I said, forget it. Two o'clock in the afternoon, I just turned around. I left. I said, I'll come back and get this load after midnight. Drop and hook. Easy in and out. Usually it only takes me 30 minutes. I was there almost two hours. So I left. I was in East St. Louis. I went to the truck stop. Did a 10-hour break. Came back at midnight. Picked up the load. It was in and out in 20 minutes. No problem. I get up here to Stevens Point, Wisconsin. And they was like, oh yeah, we have overnight parking. You can park there and wait for your appointment time. But there's a train over there. So every hour on the hour, every hour on the hour, you hear this big train go by. So there's no getting any sleep. Um, so I left East St. Louis like at midnight, maybe one o'clock. Took me about six or seven hours to get up here. So I got here about seven, eight o'clock in the morning. When I got here, lady was like, oh, you're in the wrong building. Go to the other building. Like, oh, okay, no problem. Go to the other building. She was like, no, you're in the wrong building. Go back to the first building. Go back to the first building. She was like, oh yeah, you're right. We'll take you, but nine to four o'clock. Like, okay, things happen. <laughs> you know, I knew I was supposed to be here earlier um, but hey, you want me to wait until 4 o'clock? I'll wait until 4 o'clock. Even though I started my clock at midnight, hey, I'll get it done. So I parked like, these are the, right around this corner is the loading docks. So I parked right over there where that truck is at. So I can just back up into the loading dock just in case I ran out of time. So 4 o'clock came, she's like, oh no, we're a little bit behind. So we'll get you in by 7 come back at seven o'clock came back at seven o'clock she's like oh no we're behind so we can't get you in at this building go back to the other building like really lady really but okay <laughs> things happen so I go to the other building seven o'clock I go to the other building it's 12 30 I backed in that door at seven o'clock she calls me, says there's a $300 lumper fee. $307 lumper fee. Like, okay. They didn't tell me about a lumper fee. Like, yeah, okay. Let me call my company. <laughs> I sent them a message. No reply. Granted, it's after midnight right now. So I call my dispatcher. He's got mad. He got mad at me. He said he's not the dispatcher on call for overnight services, um, but he'll do it. But in the future, I need to call the dispatcher on call for overnight services. So I said, okay. Thank you for assisting me with my request. Um, and then he sent me a message. Lumper fee, $300. I know I told him the lumper fee was $307, but he sent it to me for $300. So I was like, okay, look. He already got mad at me for waking him up at midnight. And he said he'll do it so that I won't call anyone else and wake anyone else up after midnight. Even though this is your load, like you booked this load. If there's a lumper fee, you should know that there's a lumper fee and you should have gave me the authorization code when you gave me the load assignment instead of having me call you in the middle of the night. And regardless if you didn't know, this is trucking, shit happens. Like. I'm delivering your stuff for you in your truck. You're supposed to be there if this kind of stuff comes up. Like if there's a lumper fee, hey, it should be somebody that I can call in the middle of the night. Yeah, I woke you up, but 
I haven't been able to sleep at all. Look, I'm out here at midnight my own self. And I still have to drive this truck with no sleep now. But you're not thinking about that. You're just thinking about I woke you up. Then you're going to send me an authorization for $300, even though I told you it was $307. So I went in there, I told the lady, look, he only gave me a check for $300. I'll pay the other $7 with my credit card. No problem. She was like, yeah, we usually don't do it like that, but we'll do it. So I'm still waiting for a green light to leave this place. I'm in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. I'm freezing cold. It's in the 30s. I'm tired. I'm irritated. I didn't even have a cell phone signal. Couldn't watch my Netflix. Like, I have so many complaints. I just want to say, forget this. I quit. I'm going home, y'all.